What's up, everybody? Welcome to NASCAR Fantasy Live, the show that helps you dominate your fantasy league every single week. I'm Alan Kavana alongside Amy Long, and we are halfway through the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs, and we're heading to Talladega, Amy. I cannot wait. But first, let's look back to Las Vegas quick because I was all in with Kyle Larson. I was hoping for a max points day. Instead, he got no points in stage two. He only got a 10th place finish. So my fantasy team was sad. How did you do last week? Mm, yeah, same. My overall pick just fell just outside of the top 10, but my Hail Mary got some work done and my overall Chevrolet driver of Chase Elliott, he did pretty well also. Denny Hamlin and the 11 team parked it in victory lane in Vegas. 37% of you had him on your rosters. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to Denny. Now on to Talladega, as you mentioned. And we start every episode going head to head. Alan and I give you picks guaranteed to earn you some points. And this week, I'm making sure Ryan Blaney and the 12 team are on my roster. And here's why. In his last five starts out at Talladega, he's got two wins, three top tens. He's led 123 laps. That alone is reason enough, but these team and manufacturer alliances seem to matter a great deal when it's looking at these super speedways. The whole Penske camp is, does really well in Talladega, so I'm thinking they might just hold off the field if Brian's up front. His odds to win are 10 to one. Amy, we both like Fords this weekend. Before the playoffs, I made a prediction and I'm sticking with it. Kevin Harvick wins Talladega. Yeah, I know he doesn't have a win so far yet this season, but look at what he's done at these big drafting tracks. Fourth in the Daytona 500, fourth at Talladega earlier this year, and he was running really well a few weeks ago for nearly the entire race at Daytona again, only to be caught up in a last late race crash. So I think he has what it takes to get it done this weekend, and he needs it. He is below the cut line in the NASCAR playoffs. I think the four car Kevin Harvick gets it done this weekend. I'm rolling with him on my team. So that's who I'm starting. Amy, let's talk about who we are leaving off of our teams. And for me, I'm starting at the top. I am leaving Kyle Larson off of my team. Remember, you can only start Kyle Larson five times in this 10 race playoff stretch. Maybe you've already started him twice or three times. You need to keep those precious starts and save them for later on. Think of a race like Phoenix. I am not putting Kyle Larson in a wild card race like Talladega, I just think it's too precious of a start to waste Kyle Larson off my team, Amy. Now, I'm saying things haven't been so sweet for Kyle Busch in Rowdy Nation out at Dega. In his last three starts out there, he's only gone backwards from his start position and has an average start of six with an average finish of 25.7. Mm. That sounds more like the ratio of blue M&Ms in the bag to me. So I'm gonna say uh, his Daytona stats, they pretty much reflect the same. I'm gonna say my Kyle Busch starts for another weekend. His odds to win are 14 to one. All right, that's the good and the bad. Let's talk some Hail Marys. And Ryan Newman, the other Ryan, is going in my lineup this weekend, and here's why you should consider him too. In his last five starts out at Talladega, his average start is 19.6, his average finish, 10.4. So he finishes exceptionally well in super speedways like Dega, like Daytona, when he's not wrecked out, that is. His odds to win this weekend are 33 to one. I like it. I'm going with outside the playoffs as well, Amy. And for me, all signs point, to Austin Dillon. When you look at points scored at the drafting tracks this year, Austin Dillon is the leader. He has scored the most points more than anybody in the field. What does that tell us? He can run up front all day, get your fantasy points for you, points, 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 remember all that, and he can get to the finish, the checkered flag. Really the most important part of the drafting track races, right? So I'm going with Austin Dillon as my Hail Mary pick guaranteed to be on my team this weekend. So that's who to start, maybe who to stay away from, a little Hail Mary pick. Amy, we cannot forget about the bonus picks. Easy way to help your team each week. Like I said, I am all in on Fords winning the race, but I still think in terms of the Toyota field, the top Toyota finisher will be Denny Hamlin. Bonus points right there for me. I'm with you. Ford is overall manufacturer all day long. That's an easy fill in my bonus pick. So there you go. Make sure you share your lineups with us. We love seeing them. We love interacting on Twitter. So use the hashtag Fantasy Live. Show us who you are starting and make sure you set that lineup. Tune into the Yellowwood 500 at Talladega Super Speedway this Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern on NBC. For Alan Kavana, I'm Amy Long. Good luck.